I've seen so many people get scammed with MEV bots. I had to make a video on it. So many people have purchased a bot. It was money. People copied code from the internet. They didn't understand it and they lost all the money. I'm talking thousands of dollars from people that don't know what they're running into. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to protect yourself from such scams and how to avoid them so you don't lose money. Let me state this though. You are not immune to scammers. I don't care how smart you think you are. You can be scammed. I myself have been scammed multiple times for thousands of dollars. I thought I was too smart for those people, but they do everything in such a way that you don't even notice you're getting, you're getting scammed. They play with your vulnerabilities and it's a very dangerous thing. So be open-minded, be vigilant and never trust anybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you the scams that you can run into. Okay, so take a look at this account, Solidity Repository. Looks like a verified account. It's called Solidity Repository. It sounds like an education type of account that teaches you something, right? It looks legit. It was created in December 2021, has a lot of followers. And the content they create, you know, it has some decent views, not, not all of it, but you see this one, 8,000 views. It looks, looks legit, right? In fact, most of the articles, most of the tweets are, are decent. But when you take a look deeper into it, look at this. This tweet. Finally reached 10 million net worth. Now this one is talking about MEV. And he said he's making all this money from MEV. Now notice that there is no comments. You cannot comment on this. This is how they scam you. There is a tutorial pin on their page. Basically, they are telling you they are making so much money from MEV, but they're not telling you how, and they don't allow a discussion. This to me is a scam right there. I wouldn't have to take a look at the exactly how they do it, but I can already tell that this account was created specifically to scam people, to look as legit as possible. And this is not something you don't, you don't want to say this. This is a scam on itself. People, they bought all the retreats, all the likes, all the views, everything is faked. There are many pages where you can buy those for, for cents. Yeah, and the, the, the scam on itself, I don't know w w where it is, but if you take a look at the account, you will find it eventually. Just that the thing is here, you can tell that this account is just a scam account is specifically designed for you to trust it to look like a legit account and you don't want to to follow it in fact you want to report it it has a lot of tweets but don't don't trust none of these accounts especially if the comments are disabled because then people would tell that this is a scam so never trust a tweet without comments now, when it comes to, there are many accounts like this on Twitter, by the way, you, you have to watch out for these scams. People bragging about making a lot of money from scam, from MEV without showing any of the proof. People that don't allow discussions, the, those are types of ways you can recognize these type of scams. Now, when it comes to GitHub, if you search for MEV bot, you will find many repositories. I mean, yeah, you want to search for the code for a bot, some of them are legit, by the way, some of them are legit, but this one, specifically this one, is a scam. Look, it shows you the code and uh, it shows you some example how to use it, some proof that this works. But reality, none of this is real. The account, the code, even if you read the code, it may seem legit, but there is always something there hidden something hidden that drains your money you deposit you always have to deposit your money and when you want to take it out with some profit or whatever you cannot do it it just doesn't work so you gotta watch out for this you do not want to copy code you don't want to copy code specifically if you do not understand it if you're not a programmer you never ever want to copy code and even if you're a programmer you need to watch out because the most difficult thing is to spot a scam 
it, it looks legit, but there are strategies to hide things so that you don't notice. So don't copy code from, from GitHub unless you understand every single line of it, what can be done and some ways people scam others. Now, when it comes to YouTube, there are many scams on YouTube. This one looks legit, right? It has a, a lot of subscribers. It says you're making so much money per day. 30% per day is massive. It has a lot of likes, a lot of views, and all the signs that this looks legit are there. However, even, even the comments, they say the bot it works and whatever, I made this much money. I bought a car that makes you think that this is legit, right? Well, it's not, it's a scam. If you click on this, it, this basically teaches you to copy the code and paste it into Remix to deploy it and then deposit your money and then you lose it. So when you click on this, you will basically be scammed because they will instruct you to de de deploy a contract using MetaMask and then deposit your money, which is something you cannot extract once you deposit it, you cannot extract it, it goes to the scammer right away. So even these ones that look so legit, you don't want to listen to them, there are so many, I cannot tell you which ones are, are scammers. Some of them look very legit, even some of them have the face of the scammer on them or some other person. And yeah, you don't want to listen to this, specifically those that promise insane returns. Those are the ones you should be careful with. You see, this was great, the very least. So never trust um, um, a video on YouTube unless you can understand every single line of code, unless you understand what is going on and you can test it yourself with a small amount of money. Try it, if you can, you can try it. You can try it with some little money and see what happens. But just be careful with those things. Never trust a video on YouTube. Never trust code on GitHub. Never trust accounts that look super legit, that have many tweets, many followers. Never trust none of them. On Reddit, there are many scams on Reddit. Here, there's one. This guy is apparently a developer. He's writing a bot and is telling us, you know, the things that he's doing, all the updates and how to run the bot. Now, this guy is also a scammer, you know, even the comments look legit. Everything looks great, right? Look at this one. I've used a lot of bots and this one is the best. You, you see all the comments look legit, but this one is a scam right there. If you deposit money, if you run this bot, you will lose all your money. There's a guy that said that he lost money in that. So don't trust none of them. None of these people don't copy his code. Don't download anything because that's how you get scammed. How do you know if this is a scam or not? Well, pay close attention to the post, see exactly what is going on, but they usually one thing I've noticed is they usually go to Remix to deploy some smart contract that then runs the bot, which is not, it's not even how it works, but it's meant to capture people that don't understand how this works. So if you see someone, you know, instructing you to copy code, telling you how much money they're making and if they promise insane returns or something that looks too good, you don't want to trust it. You don't trust it. Those that promise too much, you know, it's pretty obvious. Like if something looks too good, it's probably a scam, right? It's very clear. So don't trust those things and, you know, be careful because on every website, Twitter, GitHub, YouTube, Reddit, every freaking website, even Facebook, all of them are filled with scammers that prey on guys that don't understand how this works. Making money on MEV on flashbots is a very difficult thing. You need to have a lot of programming knowledge, spend many months developing, maybe have a team that works together because you're competing with the whole world on a few opportunities that are present in the blockchains. So that's what I wanted to say. and. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
If you have been scammed before, let us know how it happened and help each other.